Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. And I want to share information with you today about the sign of Jonah and a 40-day warning to Pentecost. This amazing information was sent to me by Daniel Taylor. He has been working and uh, putting this information together. And I want to share this with you. He's got all of this information talking about the sign of Jonah from the hybrid solar eclipse on April 19th and 20th of 2023. If this was indeed the final sign of Jonah, then we have a 40-day warning, which will take us right to Pentecost. And I want to share this information with you. But before I do that, I want to go over all of the other information we have seen leading up to April 20th. And before April 20th, we put together uh, all of these signs and proofs that we were indeed waiting for and watching for the sign of Jonah on April 19th and 20th. Matthew 12, 39 says, But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Based on the understanding of the two great American eclipses, and the middle point of the two great American eclipses, this other information about the sign of Jonah has been given the two great American eclipses from August of 2017 to April of 2024. If we go to the exact middle day between the two eclipses, it was the first vaccine in the United States on December 14th, 2020. And there was also another total solar eclipse over South America. So we have three total solar eclipses over America pointing to the middle day, which was the first vaccine on December 14th, 2020. Based on the middle point of those two eclipses, we found the middle point of the two hybrid eclipses from November of 2013 to April of 2023. The middle point was the super blood moon over Jerusalem, the longest blood moon of the century on Israel's day of weddings to be of. All of this information was fully explained here, especially pointing to the midday of 1727 days, which was also July 27th, a double 727 within the sign. 727 in Greek means a sudden snatching and 727 in Hebrew means arc. From the longest super blood moon of the century over Jerusalem on Israel's day of weddings to be of July 27th and, and 28th, of 2018 to the hybrid solar eclipse of April 20th, 2023, the middle day was the first vaccine worldwide on December 8th, 2020. This information is fully explained here from the super blood moon over Jerusalem. The middle day to the hybrid solar eclipse was the first vaccine globally in the United Kingdom. Then we had this information from the June 10th, 2021 total solar eclipse over the North Pole, where on the very next day, June 11th, 2021, a man was swallowed by a whale in Massachusetts and lived to tell the story, fully documented information about a man swallowed by a whale. And this went together with the total solar eclipse over the North Pole on June 10th. From that day to the hybrid solar eclipse of April 20th, 2023, the midday of those two eclipses was the total lunar eclipse of May 15th and 16th of 2022. On Israel's 74th anniversary, the 70 years of the fig tree plus the four-year delay of the fig tree, this was the middle point between the two Jonah eclipses. We also have the full understanding of the hybrid solar eclipse of April 20th 
as a sign of Jonah as it was in Cetus, the sea beast, and the whale. So the eclipse itself shows us the sign of Jonah based on the location in the heavens where the solar eclipse took place. And so here we have the full documentation from June 10th, 2021 to April 20th, 2023. It's 680 days. And the halfway point is the total lunar eclipse on Israel's 74th birthday. Then we have another amazing sign of Jonah from the boy that was pulled out of the rubble in Miami, Florida, June 24th, 2021. His name was Jonah Handler. He was a Jewish community. And the first boy pulled out of the rubble, his name was Jonah, from June 24th, 2021 to April 20th, 2023. It's 666 days. A double sign of Jonah. Jonah saved from the rubble and adding 666 days to the hybrid solar eclipse in Cetus, the whale. So now here is the information that Brother Daniel has put together to go with the sign of Jonah. Now that we have all of this information showing us and confirming to us that the sign of Jonah was indeed the hybrid solar eclipse of April 19th and April 20th, we have the sign of Jonah, April 19th and 20th, the hybrid eclipse in Cetus the whale. Jonah 3.4, Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days in Nineveh shall be overthrown. From April 19th, 2023 to May 28th, 2023 is 40 days. Pentecost on the Gregorian calendar is May 28th of 2023. The hybrid solar eclipse, the sign of Jonah, plus 40 days to Pentecost. The book of Daniel, Daniel 8, 19, and he said, Behold, I will make thee know what shall be in the last end of the indignation, for at the time appointed, the end shall be. Behold, I will make thee know. The revelation was given to Daniel. The revelation was that at the time appointed, the end shall be. Daniel in the Strong's Concordance is 1840. Daniel. Daniel was given the revelation. He was told that at the time appointed, the end shall be. The time appointed or the appointed time in the Strong's Concordance is 2165. If you add Daniel to time appointed, 1840 plus 2165, you get 4,005 Pentecost in the Strong's Concordance is 4,005 Pentecost 4,005 Daniel 1840 appointed time 2165 Pentecost 4,005. The appointed time of Daniel is Pentecost. Israel was reborn in 1948, on May 14th, 1948. If we look at May 14th, 1948, we're going to see that on the Hebrew calendar, this is the fifth day of the second month. It's already into the 20th day of the Omer on, on the Hebrew calendar. In other words, in 1948, there was not a full season of Passover to Pentecost because Israel was reborn in the middle of the season and there was not a full 
Pentecost season from the rebirth of Israel in 1948. So if we go to Passover of 1949, on April 13th, the 14th day of Nisan, we're going to see that there was a blood moon tetrad that began in 1949. Just as there was in 2014 and 2015, there was a blood, there was a blood moon tetrad in 1949 and, and 1950. And it started on Passover, April 13th, 1949. April 13th, 1949. This was Israel's first Passover from their rebirth because they were born in the second month the year before, and so they did not have a Passover in 1948. 1949 was their first Passover, and it was their first complete Pentecost season. So from 1949 to 2023, what do you have? You have the 70 years of Israel, bringing us to 2019, and you have the four-year delay of the fig tree, from 2019 to 2023 and the prophecy of Daniel points us to Pentecost based on the prophecy of the 70 weeks the feast of weeks the feast of Shavuot the feast of Pentecost 70 weeks are determined plus the four year delay of the fig tree 2023 is Israel's 74th Pentecost. And it is 40 days from the sign of Jonah and Daniel's appointed time is Pentecost. I pray you are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.